In this video, I will try to find guilties in the obesity epidemic, diabetes epidemic, and the addiction to junk food. Is there a primary culprit? Is this a person? We will try to find out next. So do not forget to ring the bell and subscribe Foodie Eyes channel. We are starting right away. It is convenient to think that our passion for high sugar foods started about 10,000 years ago in our forefathers, hunters and gatherers. So we have a food industry that provides us all our little secret wishes. The food industry encourages us to consume more and more food. It convinces us that we are really hungry now. This is the role of this industry. Make us want more and more and buy more and more. Western countries led by the United States and Great Britain tripled their weight within 40 years. Why? Is it really the fault of the human hunter and gatherers? I looked for an answer and arrived to the United States of 1971 and to a president named Richard Nixon. Now this guy Nixon, known as a great guy, he decided to run for the presidency for the second time. But there were many problems, that the first was the entanglement in Vietnam, a real mess. Another problem was the prices of food that began to rise steeply and take to the streets desperate housewives demonstrated against the administration and the cost of living. In a decision to change the existing situation in the American food market, Nixon appointed Mr. Earl Butts as Minister of Agriculture for the US. That decision affects what we put into our bodies today. Mr. Butts pushed the farmers into a process of consolidation for the industrialization of agriculture. The agenda was simple, to use every acre of agriculture. Do not leave land that not produce. That was the end of the small family farm period and the beginning of the agricultural industry. The goal was to flood the market with grains and take advantage of economies of scale and bring about a significant drop in the price of American food. Then some criticism of that policy, I describe that policy in a single word. I call it plenty. The farmers who had to fill up to grow on every piece of vacant land rejoiced at the opportunity to thrive. The easiest crop for dense cultivation is corn. The immediate result was a quantum leap in maize production. Farmers grew more and sold much more. Corn began to be sold as a cheap substitute for the feeding of cows for meat. But there was still a huge surplus of corn. And as many times at this stage appeared the Japanese. In the mid-1960s, a Japanese scholar named Yoshiyuki Takasaki invented sweetener produced from corn. Sweeter than sugar and cheap to produce than sugar. This is high fructose corn syrup, HFCS. Now the Americans had something to do with their corn surplus, because farmers with a lot of corn are going to become very rich. A new era has opened. In a fairly fast process, fructose stormed into every American food. Bread, ice cream and every industrial sauce that was exist. 
it prolongs the shelf life of the products and is much sweeter and much cheaper than sugar. And why did it start the obesity epidemic and diabetes? Because while glucose is essential for any form of life, fructose breaks down in a completely different method. Specifically, a large part of the fructose is converted into fat that sits in the liver, increases blood pressure, increases the risk of heart disease, liver disease and diabetes. Especially if the fructose enters the body without dietary fibers, like Coca-Cola, which is why eating fruit is okay, because they contain a lot of fibers that facilitate the liver in the metabolic process of fructose. So let's look at such an American meal. Meat chopped with fructose over sweet sauce. This is a container containing a significant amount of fructose. And we did not mention the sweet ketchup as near the box of fries. This menu was introduced in the 1970s as a nutritious American meal. According to scientists such as Robert Lustig, this is also the exact time point in which the obesity epidemic began in Western countries, and with it the diabetes epidemic. In the same period, Pepsi decided to replace its sugar with fructose. Coca-Cola also made such a decision. It simply saved them a lot of money and also made it possible to significantly lower price for their product. So soft drinks have not only become cheaper and much more common, but also began to be sold in much larger containers. Plastic bottles were designed to place them on the family dinner table. Fast food companies, on the other hand, increased their drinking tanks and provided a drink without limitation of quantity. The American Beverage Association was not impressed by the findings. In their opinion, the guilty of obesity epidemic is fat. Why? That will be our next video. And that is the reason I remind you to subscribe this channel to get the best foodie videos on your main screen. Thanks for watching. See you on the next.